Hi guys, welcome to another session on differential equations. Um, I just want to say that I'll be starting differential equations from unit two for those of you who are familiar with that tape syllabus and that's because I am trying my best to create content for my students and I currently do not have a unit one student so I have not uh, forgotten you guys. I will be creating content as time goes by, but for the sake of my kids, I am definitely going to start from unit two. And this is where the fun begins, guys. The differential equations. It's where it's at. Um, differential equations are really straightforward and simple. There are a lot of rules to remember, a lot of general uh, forms and general solutions to recall. But once you understand its application, it's generally a straightforward uh, um, question. So first of all, I'll do a refresh on what differential equations are. And you guys know that any relation you have between variables X and Y and any of the consequent uh, derivatives, dy dx, d2y dx squared, 3GY dx cubed and so on, they are all called differential equations. Now, there are different types of orders of differential equations. For example, if one of your differential equation has uh, that derivative, that linear derivative, or uh, that first order derivative, uh, dy dx, then your differential equation is called a first order differential equation. And similarly, if uh, your derivative is of a second power d2y dx squared, then it's called a second order uh, differential equation. And similarly, if you had um, a derivative of the power of three, it will be a third order and so on. But for your unit, we will only be considering these first two types. Now, for today's video, we'll be looking at a standard form of a first order differential equation. And the form we are interested in uh, for this video is the following. So what if you were given a differential equation of first order where you have that derivative dy dx and it's written as a format where you are adding a some function of y being equal to Q. Well then, the general solution to a first order differential equation looks like this. And it may look a bit scary at first, but there's a way I tend to simplify it. First of all, I want to pull out something called the integrating factor. Your integrating factor, uh, you can use an acronym IF to represent your integrating factor and it's worth writing out the full word at the beginning and stating to your uh, persons marking your exam paper that you are using the acronym IF to represent the integrating factor. Now, for this first order differential equation, based on your general solution, your integrating factor is given by E, the integral of P delta X. Now, the values of P and Q, they come from your equation. So you would have to do a short comparison to uh, decipher what your values of P and Q are. Now, before we get into a question, I would just like to share a standardized, uh, well, not so standardized, <laughs> but uh, in my world, <laughs> a little standardized formula I use to help me remember the general solution for a first order differential equation of this form. So instead of actually using or writing out e to the integral p of x, I like to write my general solution as follows. I write if y is equal to the integral of if q delta x. And of course, that if stands for your integrating factor so if you guys find you have a hard time remembering this long general solution, you can choose to remember my little way and it's all good. 
So let's get into a question and see how we can actually apply uh, this. So let's just say we were given a differential equation delta y over delta x minus 5y is equal to e to the x. Now, the first thing you need to do is you definitely need to make sure that your differential equation is of the first order and it's given in the form delta y delta x plus bx is equal to q. And we can safely see that it is. Once you have identified the format of your differential equation, some of the first things you need to do uh, you would need to come here and decide what are your values of P and Q. Now in our question, we can see that the value of P is given by minus 5 and our value of Q is given by E to the X. So we are now going to go ahead and do a simple substitution. Now I'll erase this standard form and in order to get our general solution, the first thing we need to find out is what is our integrating factor. Now our integrating factor is given by, as you go up, if you recall, your integrating factor is given by e, the integral of p dx. So that's e, the integral of p dx. Now, we have the value of P, so therefore, for this question, our integrating factor is simply equal to E, the integral of P is minus 5 dx. Now that we have our integrating factor, we are going to get straight into our general solution. So our general solution, if you recall my shortcut if y is equal to the integral of if q we can simply write down what we have so if is given by e to the integral of minus 5 delta x is equal to the integral of if q which is given by e to the integral of minus 5 delta x and q as we determined from the beginning is e to the x delta x so you can also choose to calculate your integrating factor before substituting into your general solution such that you will get the integral of minus 5 is minus 5x. If you choose to do that, then you can write down your integrating factor directly after integration. The choice is yours. Now, before we begin, we are going to, and we forgot our why. There we go. Before we begin to work out our general solution, we want to clear out all of our integration signs. So on our left hand side, we are going to leave it as it is. And on our right hand side, we are going to attempt to integrate. Now, e to the minus 5x times e to the x gives us e to the minus 4x. And when you're integrating an exponent, you simply divide by the derivative. And we will get a constant of integration on your left hand side. And we will bring down our terms on the left. My board did not clear up. All right, guys. So finally, we have one last step to do, and we need to isolate our solution such that we have y. We can multiply both sides by uh, e to the 5x and that will give us e to the x on minus 4 plus c e to the 5x. And that's our general solution for this first order differential equation. So if you would like to see more examples of these, I can do full tutorial sessions on a lot of these types of first order differential equations. They're rather easy and simple. 
um, look forward to Please look forward to seeing my next videos where I will be doing some second order differential equations, both, both of the uh, homogeneous and non-homogeneous nature. And um, they're actually rather pretty fun and soothing. I, the, the integrals don't come very uh, complex. They are standardized. So um, once you know, like I said, once you know and recall your general solutions, um, based on your particular uh, conditions, you can get these answers very easily. So it was good to be with you and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.